Did Jordan jump over the dunk? And which is the hotter release this year? Curious to know, man. I cooked up something real nice for you. Let's go, man. So film some some real nice shots of both of these shoes today. Um, this is something I think a lot of us are talking about, but I don't think there's really any content about this. Um, did the Jordan jump over the dunk? Do people want Jordans over dunks? I know people want both, but... Are you going to be more excited about the next dunk that comes out or the next Jordan that comes out? I'm just trying to pick your mind. Hit that like button. I literally just filmed all of this in the past two hours. So if you like this on foot, all that good stuff, hit the like. I should have links in the description of both of these shoes, too, if you're looking for them on the resale tip. But I wanted to do a Sunday live. It's 8 o'clock p.m. East Coast time on your record, Dow. And let me know who's up in here. Check it out. So there's both of them on feet, you know. And wear your sneakers, guys. Wear them shits. Wear them. Don't worry about creasing. These sneakers, they're supposed to crease, baby. Damn, that shit's fucked up on the back end of that one. I'll be ruining my shit sometimes. It'd be like that. But, yeah, talk to me in the chat. Let me know. This could be a long show or a short show. That's up to you guys. Interact. Shout out to the chat. I'm going to start talking to y'all in just a second. I just wanted to give you this bird's eye view look. There's a link if anyone wants to cam up. Which shoe do you like better? Do you like the 4s or the SB Dunks? Leave it in the chat right now. Right now. What does the underlay look like? I will show you. I'm hated on in just a second. I should have a video unless I deleted it, which I may have done. But I may have some photo. Yep, so this is what the underlay looks like. That's what it looks like. I don't think that looks very nice. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that this looks better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments right now. Do you like it without it being cut, or you think cutting it up is the way to go? Let me know. Cut it up, or hell no, leave it as is. Leave it as is, man. But yeah, man. I think a lot of people are putting these as far as sneakers of 2023, the hottest sneakers of 2023. I think a lot are putting these up there. Um, and me personally, I am. I, I don't know what's my – actually, I do know what my favorite release is of this year, and it's the uh, Air Jordan 3 White Cements. The Reimagined. That's my favorite. And happy Father's Day, by the way, to everyone. Happy Father's Day. Um Let's see what's going on in this chat. Beautiful day for sure. Sean says that the Air Jordan 4 SB is just a gateway sneaker. Not an SB fan. Now you could be. Now an SB fan wearing some Jordans. Good marketing. Yes, you are right. 100%. Guys, hit that like button right away. We uh, we got to try to get more viewers in here. That's how to do that, please. Um, and I showed you what the underlay is. G Fish, what up, man? I threw the link if you want to come through. Um Hawaii Rams fan, aloha, my friend. Salute to you, Hawaii Rams fan. He says, I have both. So which one do you like better since you have both? Happy Father's Day, definitely. So to all the dads out there, so to all the men out there handling their business, being men, you know, taking care of their children, right? Shout out to Jules. Jewel loves sneakers. Salute. Says, what's good? Salute, man. Happy Father's Day, B. Shout out to Bacon in here. What's Bacon got to say? Oh, we got our first donor of the day. That's good, man. It's Father's Day. Show love, baby. You're looking at a father here. Shout out to all the fathers. Chris, this one's for you, man. Hands down, he said the SB. And check out my review of the SB because I literally reviewed it at the skate park. I did the on foot there. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Boy, young Jizzle, nigga, y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dell's face. Bro, I gotta find these damn things, man. I'm looking everywhere for these. No. Oh. oh, 
I think we found something. Yes, we have. Bang, bang. Got him. Used to day in my neighborhood. All the pretty girls in my neighborhood. Turn up. Sunshine bright on my neighborhood. You can't tell. You got it like you. You got it like you. It's a beautiful day on the block. Chilling, cracking jokes. Keep the youngest taking notes. Classic Snoop blasting out the window. Talk about drinking gin, smoking it, though. Pretty thing next to a bad ass. Nice rack at the barbecue tonight. I got a bag. It's a beautiful day. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good? I'll tell you what's good is my homie, man. First donor of the day, Chris. What's up, my guy? Salute to you, Chris. Thank you. And he says the fours all day, every day. Uh, he says, G Fish says, I like the cut, but that they effed up on the on that pig. Um, he says, I've seen better ones. Yeah, that one looks like shit, right? Um, he said, hell no, hell knows, hell knows to what? Explain, please. If you would, if you could. Uh, yes, happy Father's Day, everyone. Just a quick uh, live. I mean, as I said, like, you guys give me good energy, shit to talk about. We'll rock out for a while. But, yeah, I I know a lot of people put these up there as one of the best releases of this year. So I wanted to do a video. And I was just going to do a video, but I said, you know what? When I filmed it, I said, let's just go live. I could go live and just deliver. So, you know, I, I went to the pool today. I, showed, I, I shot a bunch of different shots so you guys can see both of them in all their glory. Outdoor, too, man. Outdoor is always a beautiful thing when you are uh, filming. Um, but, yeah, man. You know, they both are green sneakers. And I, I would say that that's the best dunk to release this year, in my personal opinion. Some may agree. Some may disagree. But for me, I think so. And on foot, they look so great, both of them. Um, on foot really helps people judge, I feel. And I think the orange laces is the way to go on those dunks. Let me know what you guys think, though. Let me know in the comments. Please do. They don't. Which is the hottest shoe? Which is the hottest shoe? Eh? Let me know. Bacon, thank you for the super sticker, man. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, that love, brother. I need that love. Makes me feel special. Makes me want to keep streaming, baby. Bacon, this one's for you. You, you. DJ Dell, you know I love you. Love you. Love you. Love hey, yo, Playboy, watch where you step and watch where you step. You see what I got on, fam? Styles. Check. Uh. Shitting on niggas with the shoes My whole flock is fly Peep the bird's eye views From the checks to balances Flex the EA's punish Release calendars Big bangs, no silences Delzy on your news feed Problems we solve them on Fridays With more kicks than Bruce Lee Switching up speeds Riding the Fuji in the movie And you have three spraying the AR-15 On Hollywood posters Score like the Riddick Chronicles Leave a nigga stretched off white Like Virgil Abloh shoes these dope boy classics on my feet make it look like I got more samples than Ron G. I'm a soldier for the culture. My wave runners got it off the coaster. Hawaii Ram and Grams of the fish scale to Norfolk. And I ain't no saint if a nigga walk up. I put in pain. Blow a circle in your back like an organ. Bone posit. I keep my sweetness in union with my thought process. It's all concepts. At most we take an L, but that's money saved. Call the W on grounds, double up the pay. Put a win a different kick every other day One by the door and the other one tucked away Bees like that sometimes, that's what my brothers say And yeah, I'm an addict for sneakers, you gotta love a J <laughs> EJ Bells Ooh, baby, you rock my Bells Boom, 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 what's good? This bacon, man, with the dono, I appreciate that, man Shout out to Rel in here Shout out to I'm Kick James Bench. What up, everyone? Salute. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Jay Marie up in here, Hawaii Rams fan. Great dad. Uh man. So yeah, man. What do y'all think about this discussion? Did, did Jordan jump over the dunk? Did Jordan literally jump over the dunk? Are you more excited about the next Jordan SB to come out? Or, you know, the dunk is always going to top the Jordan. Because we're coming out with Jordan SBs. is a Black Cat one that's supposed to be coming out. I think there's a blue one coming out sooner or later. You know, are you more excited about that? 
Or are you excited about the dunks that are coming out? Like, there's one coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, I forgot what it's called offhand. I know a lot of y'all want it. Let, let me know in the comments and in the chat. Interact with me. Let that chat bang. Talk to me, baby. And as far as the fit go true to size, I have them both linked in the description if you're looking for them on the resale tip. I think um, the hype has died on the Horito dunk. Am I right or am I wrong? Or is the hype still very real? I feel like people are kind of like, eh, with them now. Which I don't really understand that whole thing. Like, I don't get that at all. But yeah, man, they both badass shoes. I'm happy to have both of them. And shout out to Charles in Hawaii. He actually helped me out with getting both of these shoes. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're far too kind. Uh, let's see. Vasha, what up, man? Born and raised. Yes. Born and raised. That was it. Polar Bear's in here. Happy Father's Day, Polar Bear. Once again, did the Jordan jump over the dunk when it comes to Nike SBs? Are we more excited about dunks, about Jordans coming out than SB versions or no? That's the question for today. Because I think it's a topic that we all are thinking, but we're not talking about, right? And I have them both here. <laughs> and happy Father's Day. Um, I did a bunch today, man. I did a lot with the kids. I'm kind of tired. I'm going to be honest with you, man. But I was I had a nice day today. I took them all over the place. So if you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen and both are green shoes. I would say this is top five of the year right here. I don't know where I'd put them in. But, yeah, they look crazy on feet, bro. For real. They really do. Um, hello, my name is. What's up, bro? Good to see you in here. Make sure you hit that like, please. It helps me. Yep. Jordan SB is the bigger hype for sneaker heads. I believe because it's a new thing. Yeah, I think so, too. And, um. It's safe to say that Jordans are more popular than Dunks, right? I think so. I think that for the most part, besides people like maybe like like Rami, uh, maybe you know like Influence, some of those guys. I think for the most part, people are more into Jordans. Uh, top five, yes, yeah, so I think so too, bro. What what do you guys think is the top five for this year? Me, I'm going to put that white cement at number one, the white cement three at number one. And then those two are lingering around two and three, four, five. I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to, to call it. I, it's kind of hard to call it. Never really was a dunk guy back in the days. Me, I was never really heavy on dunks as a kid. You know, I always liked the Air Force one more. Um but as I got older, I liked them. Um, and throw the re – yes, reimagine is insane, bro. I've worn my reimagine so much, they look horrible. Um, they look absolutely horrible. Let's um, keep playing this because I, I like how this came out, man. Yeah, I filmed this earlier. Um, man, they badass sneakers. I'm happy to have them both. Really happy to have them both. This is two shoes that you kind of really want to have, I would say. You know, I don't really push push people on what they need to get, but these are two that I think people need. If if money ain't a thing, get them. Like, I'm definitely telling you, get these shits, you know. Definitely get them. We did a video yesterday talking about... Kendrick Lamar buying fake sneakers. Definitely watch that video. We had a great panel yesterday, too. A lot of laughs. Um, at the end of the day, I kind of think that Kendrick was trolling. Was Kendrick trolling right here? That way. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, you put it through. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, okay, that's what I did. Wrong for you. This is the metal. Mm -hmm. This is the metal, strong metal. Mm -hmm. No break. You put that both thing mm -hmm. like this. Like that there? Yeah. Put it both thing yeah, like that. Slide that there like uh. Yeah. Like uh. Uh. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do see the thing, so. That's right. Mm. Yeah. 
blood. Eh? Pop out, man. That's the eight game? Yeah. This eight and a half first. No, I don't need that. Now I give you eight. This your size, bro. Ah! You pop out like that, dog? Was Kendrick trolling? I think he was trolling. Was he kind of throwing shots maybe at something? Like maybe at Nike or Jordan? Possibly. Has he influenced people to buy fakes? Possibly. I don't think he was serious, though. He didn't sound very serious. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, the meat and potatoes of this discussion is, did the Jordan jump over the dunk when it comes to Nike SBs? I feel like the excitement for another Jordan SB is on another level than the dunk. But to me, when I think SB, I don't think of Jordans. I think of dunks. So as much as the hype is there, um, the dunk is is a special thing when it comes to the SBs. So. He says, obviously trolling. For real, I think so too. In his tax bracket, could he be considered a problem if he wore the fakes? Yeah. Listen, you never know. I mean, is Kendrick Lamar really looked at as someone that's uh, like a high fashion guy that dresses really nice? He may just not give a shit either. But I think he was messing around. We did a two-hour stream yesterday. Mad people were on. It was really dope. Hit that like if you haven't yet. If there's anything y'all want me to talk about, please do so. Uh, will Dells use the box cutter on his... Nah, I don't like the way they look, bro. I don't like the way they look cut up. I'm keeping them as is. I wear them a lot where they, they may start wearing out naturally. <coughs> you know, I do wear them out a lot, so... They look dope, though. They look dope. Um, let's see. It's going to be funny if they release the military form in an SB form. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I'm going to be honest with you. I never was, like, the craziest dude when it came to the fucking SB um, military blues. Like, I never was that crazy about them. Those things always sat. They always sat. Like, it w that was never a shoe where people were jumping out the window for. Um, even like when it first came out, like no one ever really wanted them shits. Kind of reminds me of how the energy was with the Mocha 3s. And then the Mocha 3s came back out and them shits sat. Everyone wanted them. Oh, God, when are they going to release the Mocha 3s? When are they going to release the Mocha 3s? And then they released the Mocha 3s and then no one gave a fuck about the Mocha effing 3s. So I kind of feel like that's what's going to eventually happen with the um, military blues. I think that the state that we're in as far as sneakers and everything like that, I really do think that um, people don't got money to spend on sneakers like they used to. Uh, so, you know, I do think that that's a big factor with everything, a huge factor. People, people's money's tight, not everyone's. I know there's a bunch of y'all that their money's far from tight. You guys are doing good, and I'm happy for you. You know? But people's spread ain't the same. Shape and materials on the SB4 is not... Do you own those? Audio check? My audio's off or no? How's my audio? Hit one, two, three. Let me know how the audio is. Hopefully it's Rel and not me. Can y'all hear me? Let's interact, please. I'm about to leave. <laughs> Let's interact. 
I'm good now. Okay. All right. Good. good. As long as I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, we need interaction, or else there's no need to go live. I could just pre-record this stuff. Uh, it was kind of weird. Okay, well, thank you for telling me. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, sometimes it could be you, it could be me, but I'd rather you speak up than not speak at all, and then I have shitty audio going on throughout the whole thing. Um, would anyone prefer a military blue... SB over a uh, regular military four or you, what would you rather have the, the OG version of the military blue Jordan four, or would you rather have the SB military blue four SB or OG right down in the chat? Come on, let's interact. Let me know which one you'd rather. Would you rather have a military blue 4 OG or would you rather have the um, the SB? <laughs> Salute, I'm hated on OG, 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 OG. OG. Normal GR military four over the SB all day. Okay. That's how I feel too. That's how I feel. 100%. That's how I feel. I mean, you know, it's cool. Honestly, it's cool. The SB Jordan stuff, but I'm going to tell you now, now that we're 22 minutes in, I don't, I didn't want to influence anyone. I'm dunks all day over the Jordans. They're, they're fucking basketball shoes, bro. I'm going to be real with you. I grew up in the 90s, you know, and and back in my days, we studied what was going around in the 80s. I don't recall people wearing Jordan 4s playing uh, um, skateboarding and them shits, man. I really don't. I don't recall that shit. I recall people like Tony Hawk wearing Air Jordan 1s, Lance Mountain wearing Air Jordan 1s, Bo Bones Brigade, you know. Search for Animal Chin. If you know skateboarding, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know skateboarding history. Right there. I don't care how many SBs you have. Like, if you don't know what I just told you there, you need to look up Bones Brigade, Search for Animal Chin. That's a movie with Tony Hawk, Lance Mountain. Like, like educate yourself, man. Get, get, get into the culture more. You dig? Like, for real. I'm not even trying to be a dick. I'm just saying, like, if you're heavy in the SBs, Search for Animal Chin. If you don't know what that is, and you have 150 million fucking dunks, you need to go and learn about that shit. If you don't know what the Bones Brigade is, you need to go and learn about that shit. Because it's just, like, crazy. It's like buying Jordans and not knowing who Michael Jordan is. Like, that's that the level that is. And if you don't know, that's fine, but you need to know. Um, OG for sure. At least we have an effing chance. I'm telling you now, I don't think that those military uh, blues are going to sell out, bro. I really don't think that. He said he helped um, Tinker design the OG4. Oh, that's why. That's why. That's what you're saying. Wait a minute. So Sandy was involved with the design for the 4? I did not know that. I didn't know that. See, I mean, that's dope. I did not know that. I need to look into that more. Maybe cut pieces off the dunk where the um, jug pours the Harito out. Incorporate that. Oh, let me see that. Let me just um, play that video. So he's saying to cut where the cut where the shit is pouring out. That would be really difficult to do, right? You need like a really sharp blade to do that shit. I can't control this video, but 
I could just, we could just wait until we get there. You see where it's pouring out? That would be interesting, but that's risky business, bro. You fuck that up, you're finished. Like, like you are really finished. If you mess that up, you are finito, baby. Finito. What's up, girl? How are you? Exactly. We'd have a great uh have a chance to cop and yeah, the GR you'll be straight. If they if they drop the damn SB military four military four military blue four, we're screwed. Cause I mean, how many of you guys got these? Interact, please. Did, were you able to cop these? Write copped or, or or write an L in the chat. Did you cop these or not? Interact with me. I don't see interaction. Then I'm, there's no reason to stay live. Did you guys get an L or you cop these? Let me know. We haven't seen Jordan 4 sit though yet, right? Or am I wrong? Jordan 4s haven't been sitting. Drip with the kicks got an L, he said. Derek said he got um a four. Uh, Quinn said got an L. Got two pairs. God. Shit, man. That's great. Two pairs? Military Blue 4 selling for four to $500 on the resale. What do you mean? Oh, you're saying if that would come out. I got what you're saying. I tried to resell them. Base, what up? He copped. Of course you copped. King A1 copped. Okay. Real Art Manifest. W. Okay, so a lot of people were successful with this. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I know that we've had a lot of people not get them. I know Stretch don't have them. He really wants them. He needs a size 12 if anyone can help him. Um, and then with the Horitos, these were not easy to get for most people. I got to adjust my camera. I can't do that while I'm live right now. This shit, I'm like glowing. I look like a ghost for Christ's sakes. When I back up. Now I'm not like a freaking translucent. <laughs> I get up close. I'm like Casper the effing ghost. Like like a sheet of paper. Word. Cut this. That would be really difficult to do that though, man. That would not be easy to do that. I don't think that that would be an easy task to be able to cut that um, the the orange soda that's pouring out of it. They're damn good shoes. Damn good shoes. Which one do you guys honestly like better? Out of these two shoes. Out of these two. The four or the dunk. Let me know that right now. The four or the dunk. I know there's a poll, but just so we get an idea, get a vibe in the chat. The four or the dunk. Let me know. Let's see what the chat got to say. Keegan says the fours are nice, but I let them go. Okay. Four, Base Maryland says. Rel says um, the SB is a full shoe all day. Let's see. Um, Kick James says better shoe is the Haritos, the longevity. Okay. Fours. Um, they both wavy facts, big facts. Quinn Stewart says four. Hit that like button if you haven't yet, please. Four. Drip with the kick says dunk. Um, Miss Thomas says four. He said he hit on that cop date. I, I used to try cop date. I would never have luck. But then I know a lot of people that have plenty of luck on that. Maybe I need to give that a chance. Uh, there's no creativity on the four. It, I, I see what you're saying there. Um, you know, one thing I like about the dunks, right? The SB dunks is like, you know, the storytelling, right? You have the the soda. You have it like pouring out of this like jug or whatever the hell it is. 
Uh, why is it a jug, by the way, and not the bottle? We don't buy these shits in jugs. Uh, but, you know, there's all the branding inside. So it's like there, there's a whole story behind it. You know, a lot of these dunks have stories behind it, right? So you have, like, the Bart Simpsons. And then, you know, what else? California right here. California for the California flag. Hit the like button. I'm showing y'all a bunch of sneakers. Show love back. Um, this was inspired by a car, the Magnus Walkers. So, like, there's excitement with dunks because it's not just an SB dunk, right? It's an SB dunk with storytelling involved. And then you have this. Where's the storytelling on this, right? There's no storytelling. It's just a green... And white with a little bit of red and a gum outsole, just a Jordan. Yes, they like made this more like um, flexible and shit. I did a really kick ass review on these. Um, so I see what you're saying. That That's a good point you got there. Um, SB, I mean, but a lot of the clothes you'd wear with these, you could wear with those. I mean, it's green, right? Or wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. But yeah, I I just love SB Dunks, man. I always have. I you know you could look at the longevity of this channel. I've been reviewing shoes for over for about fifteen years. I think over fifteen years on YouTube, which is pretty sick. Um, but you know, I've always reviewed Dunks. I, I love them. But with the Jordans, I think that it's cool and all, but you don't get the same vibe. There's not collaborations and, um, you know, grabbing inspiration from something and then putting it and bringing it to life. Like with, for example, I have um, these right here, you know, the Cheech and Chong's, uh, you know, inspired by Cheech and Chong, dirt, you know, and then underneath here is green, like some weed, like that's so dope, you know, like the SBs, the reason why we love the SBs I'm speaking for me, but I think I'm speaking for a lot of you. We love the SBs because of the concepts behind them, how fun they are. They, they, they have like a story behind it. So that's what I think is so spectacular. I mean, are you guys really buying SBs because of the technology? Or are we buying them because of the story behind it and they use cool materials? I think most people are buying them for the cool materials and the story. Unless you're a skateboarder, I think most people are buying them for that. They're not. I don't think people are buying them because they're they're fucking. They got a zoom unit in the insole. I really don't think so. I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. You know. I mean, let me try to grab a few more dunks like these. Like this is what's cool cool about dunks. I think so. What do you guys think about what I'm saying? Like. I think what's cool about the dunk is the the storytelling behind it. And then them using all these cool graphics like you see here to the great the, the materials and, and designs. You know, something unique, different, kind of one of a kind, separates from each other. Because a dunk is a very plain sneaker, let's be real. But they're able to just, like, juice them up, you know? Like crazy. Yep. Uh, SBs always have amazing stories and inspiration. So, like, in the long run, because clearly, you know, cash rules everything around me, you know, and around us, right? So, clearly, the Air Jordan 4, they're going to be able to make more money off of it. They'll be able to charge more money for it and everything like that. I'm sure the price difference between making a, a Dunk High and a Jordan 4, maybe the Jordan 4 is a little bit more, but how much more? It can't be that much more to make a Jordan 4 over a, a Dunk High. So in the future, after they start putting out a couple more pieces, like allegedly we're getting that white and blue one, and then we're going to get after that, we're going to get the um, Black Cat or maybe the Black Cat first. Are we eventually going to see like SB, SB Jordans that have some sort of storytelling? Like something like this, which was a Dornbecker. Maybe we'll get like 
uh, Superman, you know, kind of um, SB, or or do you think that that will never happen? It will never be like that. Curious to know. Because you do have some Jordans that do have storytelling behind them, you know? You definitely do. So... Uh, let's see. Facts. We need a Dornbeck, a new Dornbecker for shit. I like dunks, but um, SB fours are rare. Rarer. Shout out to Nike SB Dunkman twenty three. I'm kick. James bitch says. Overall, SB is dope. They never retro. Concepts are dope. Stylish materials. Wearable. Longevity. Longevity and longevity. If I can um, beat a shoe for uh, 30 to 40 years. I'm going to put a link in the chat, too, if anyone like to join conversation. Um, he says that the Horito Dunks are big trash. That's from Ben. Ben Dover. Ben, why do you feel that way, Ben, with your SB on your head? Why do you feel they're trash? I'm just curious to know. Um, I've, I've never heard anyone say they were trash yet. Not saying that you don't have um, your opinion and you aren't entitled to your opinion. I'm curious to hear why do you feel they're trash? Does anyone else think the Horitos are overrated and are trash? Maybe some of you guys do. Let me know in the comments. Definitely let me know in the comments. Do you think they are trash? By the way, we did a battle the other night. Low-key J versus Jimmy. And it was a damn good battle. Make sure you guys watch that. Yeah, I, I like hearing why shit is trash. A lot of people will say something's trash, and sometimes I feel like they're either trolling or they're trolling. They're just looking for some kind of attention. I just don't see why that would be trash. But I would love to know why you think they're trash. Nothing. We haven't heard anything. I was hoping we were going to hear something. A little overrated, but not necessarily trash. That's what Mike Swift says. Okay. Show us the underlay again. I got you. G Fish is in here. G, talk to me. What you thinking? What up? Uh, they're not <laughs> overrated and they're not trash. People say that shit because they one, don't have them. one, you don't have them. Two, that you ain't make no money off of them because y'all was sleep on them November and December when they said they was coming out. And then you thought they was plentiful and them shits won't. So now they trash. The most overrated dunk is the panda dunk. Period. Pan I, don't know, I don't think I could ever wear the panda dunk. That shit is overrated, man. It gets to the point now the name uh, Jordan to come out with a black and white sneaker and it'd be like, yo, it's the panda. A, a, a Yeezy could come out and be like, oh man, that's the panda. Nah, bruh. Yeah. Nah, though, you know who got the original pandas? The man right here on the pen. 
Yeah. The man that's the owner of this channel. He got yeah. fucking pandas in a goddamn cage. That's a panda. I got the real panda. <laughs> yeah. In a fucking cage. And yeah. and on top of that, the real panda is supposed to be black or white and the Nike is supposed to be red on the tongue. If oh, I'm not that mistaken. Was the first one? Yeah. You know, the panda they made, I wonder how many pairs they made of that panda. Is there a way we can find out how many pairs were made of that panda dunk? Don't give me the line. But I just, I just, I don't know. I just think as far as like the Haritos, it wasn't no hype on them like that anyway until it got close. And then you went, it, the stock numbers won what people thought them shits was. And it was like on to the next shoe. Just like yeah, I think see. the born and, I think the born and Ray is going to be like that. Once you don't get them, it's like, man, forget it. I feel a lot of energy with that born and raised. Yeah, it's a lot of energy, but once that shit, once you ain't getting them, then it's going to be like, man, on to the next one. I'm feeling the court dunks, though. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, me too. I am feeling those court dunks. The uh, What the hell are they called? By... um. What's what's the clot. company? Clot, clot, yeah. You know, there were that clot dunk high was really slapped on. I felt I wear that out, man. I can't tell you the amount of compliments I get on that. Yeah, they had like, uh, dude, you're being generous saying twenty quid. They had like a hundred and twenty five thousand restocks on them. I mean, they're still coming out with them. I'm, they must have mass produced the shit out of that shoe. Have have you have you owned that shoe, um, G Fish or no? Hell no, nah. and that's what I'm saying. Like you giving it any, you to the wrong. The overrated. Damn, you're cutting out. Giving that energy to them other dunks, but that the panda dunk is the least quality shoe out of all of them. It's like you walking around with a paper mache on your foot for a buck ten. Where is his? I don't. Oh, here's Ben. Ben says it's a drink nobody cares about or heard of. On no, you haven't heard of it, bro. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Stop generalizing everybody. Like I heard some people was, that was like, like shout out to my um my Spanish um brothers and sisters talking about some yo man like y'all copping the joint. Y'all don't even know what it is. Like y'all not the only one that obtain that drink. When I go to Jamaica spot, that shit sitting in the refrigerator when I get in the oxtails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I mean look I I don't agree with you but I respect your opinion. If you think if you think they trash that's fine. Um, the drink people know about that drink. That drinks in all of the grocery stores around my way. Um, I think it's for that. My bad, uh, no, please. No, nah, I just think I just think the shots at that one should be the shots for them damn Spider Man's. Them shits is weak. Mm. No Spider Man, them last Spider Man's is weak, yo. I'm standing on it. That shit is weak. What the, <laughs> the one that just released? This the second one? Or the Hell first yeah, one? man. Them shits is good mid, yo. Them shits is good mid smoke. Yeah, you think so? I kind of yeah. like them. I really have grown up really dig them. Me personally, I'm be honest. Man, uh, I don't know. Me and him, we I guess we going tit for tat because them shits is mid, man. Yeah, you they ain't better than the first ones. <laughs> I I like them on feet. I started seeing people wearing them on feet, and I said, you know what? I kind of got it now. Um, and also, maybe it's just some fandom shit because of the fact I like the movie. So now maybe I want them. Maybe I'm kind of influenced off of it. Um, yeah, I'm like telling it. you not to get them. You know what I'm saying? I just this is my opinion. Just like no, you got that opinion. You know what I'm saying? Spit your opinion. Shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. Man, that shit mean, man. What do you guys think of them? Chat playbackers, commenters. Hit the like button if you could, if you would. Don't forget, we got Super yeah. Chat and all that good stuff. Super thanks. Playbackers, hit that thanks button along with the like. But talk to us. Comment. That's what keeps us going. Is, is this a mid-sneaker? This is that mid-grade? Or is this a fire-ass shoe? This is that high, high, high. Ready? The back look like it's got oil spills on it. 
It looked like a rag at a mechanic's um, garage, you know. But I've seen them on feet, and they look really good on feet. It's funny because the, the new look that's popular is the shoe to look all fucked up and dirty. You notice that, right? Yeah. You know? They they have um changed the outlook of, of sneaker culture. Sneaker culture used to be about always having that brand new effing pair on your foot. Now you're buying shoes that are already looking like you wore them 160 times. So it's it's different, man. It is different. That's just like um, the people selling them used off whites, yeah. looking like they done play baseball in them joints. Still asking for stupid numbers for them. I don't know how anyone can think the Haritos is overrated. Like I'm looking at this video right here, and I just I can't even comprehend that. But I, as I said, everyone's got their own opinions. Like that shit is cool as hell. I would never cut it. I don't like him cut. I mean, I told you I like either one. It's just how to some of them pictures, some of them cut them joints. Like how you said <laughs> when I said uh, Pippin had the uh, phone positive and Penny grabbed him. He was like, "Yo, they fucked up." That's oh exactly yeah, they really, they, did. Did. <laughs> they really did, man. Imagine if Pen if if Pippin grabbed the phone positive. Oh my god. <sighs> That would have been a major, major thing for him. You see what they did with the new ones? The new era of tempos? I'm like, yo, bro, let them joints breathe. You done drop them joints. Like, I got the last one. That was like maybe two. Cutting out a little bit. G Fish, we, we, can, we can't hear you right now. Panda's overrated when they, they sitting. Now, I haven't seen them sitting. Are they sitting in online or at the malls? Have you guys actually seen them sitting at the mall or no? No, nah, I, I, I guess it, it depends on what's, what city you live in and it depends on what mall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I've never seen Panda Dunks just chilling. I know Ham has had luck. He's walked into stores a bunch of times and just seen them. I think they're mass producing them because of the fact that um, they're so cheap to make because the, the material is so horrible on those. Uh, I don't know. know. I guess everything ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I already, when I seen them, like I said, I already had, I already had fits. I was already putting the fit together in my mind or s certain yeah. stuff I caught before I got this sneak. Yeah. Yo, what up, Boogie? What's poppin'? She said she's seen them at the mall. Okay. So she's seen them at her mall. I haven't seen Panda Dunks at the mall. I've seen the highs, but not the lows. I've seen the highs. I've, I've seen the lows, but they ain't they ain't sit for long. Oh, okay. Like I've so seen, them, I've seen them sitting on like like at the counter at JD, but they ain't last long. Okay, I see. I see, I see. Guys, if you haven't hit that like, please do so. It helps get this video out there more. Um, so, G Fish, did the Jordan jump over the dunk where people are more excited about a new Jordan SB versus a dunk SB? What's your thoughts on that question? I think G Fish. Are more people, are, are more, people are more excited about dunks than Jordans? Do you think that more people are excited about. The next Jordan SB to come out or no? Versus Dunk. Now, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say at this point. The sneaker game funny anyway. <laughs> like, it, it here today, gone tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they could come out with another colorway. It'd be hot for 30 seconds. Uh huh. And that's it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I only can speak for me. I buy shoes because of what I like and what I could do with them. Like I'm yeah. not, I don't follow what Nike tell me, what social media tell me. Because at the end of the day, you can get stuck with that shit. You buy the sneaker and then it ain't it no more. Now you stuck. You can't even get that off for retail price. For real. <laughs> nah, you you speaking big facts, my friend. Big effing facts. 
That bird's eye view is pretty. I, I told you why I got that. Uh, the SB4 is like, I heard somebody say ain't no cre creativity, but nah, you got to paint the picture. Like Seagull, you got to paint the picture so you can see it. One, they giving you neutral, easy ass colors, right? You got the red jump, you got the red jump, man, the white, the hen of the cell, the gray, and the green. Mm. If you can't put a fit together with them joints, then you might as well go ahead and get you some pandas, huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's easy ass colors. Um, going ghost says hot take. I don't want to see another uh, SB4. I don't want to see um uh, see um them water them down. They should just leave SB4 um one and done. Hey, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. But you know how no, I go. Agree. I agree. You know how I go. Nike, Nike, Nike. Y'all didn't dictate that y'all love fours, so they gonna beat you in the head with fours. Just like mm -hmm. y'all got happy. There's nothing, clearly, there's nothing wrong with the bread four that you got. And which was crazy, the bread four dropped. It won't that much energy. It was energy, like, yo, the bread four coming back. Then when the bread four came out, man, I ain't even sweating these joints. Now they talking about, we gonna give you a reimagined four. Everybody like, yo, man, I need them joints. Mm -hmm. Reimagined four. How how much hype is there for that? Are you guys really hype about it? People watching on the playback, people watching live, like, are you like really excited about them? But in the defense, it? in the defense of, I'm cool with, with my breath for us. I don't need them. But okay. in the defense of the reimagined for, it's gonna be a quote unquote le all leather. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Like, I didn't need the DMP 11s. The only thing that made me was like. Term change my mind about it that it's all it's all leather. Yeah. Uh, he said doubled up on the bread. OG fours don't need them. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, are you guys? How excited are you guys about an SB um, four? Um, she says um, because I'm new. Yes, she's very excited. Okay, that's what's up. And I hope you get you're able to get your pair, girl. Shit, you know. And that is definitely what's up. I mean, all of us on a on a different path. Some people is just entering the room. So I'm not never not telling you not to grab. It was like the world is yours when you first starting out. Grab whatever you can get. But then once you get to that mountaintop, now it's kind of like, man, I got all these damn sneakers. I need to be picky and choosy. Facts. Big F and facts. Yeah, I mean, like there's a new sneaker. Head sneakerhead born every fucking day, and there's a new sneakerhead that's leaving every day. You know, it's just what it is. You shit, know? I'm about to start getting rid of some of my shit now. <laughs> Me too. I have been. I'm getting rid of. Sh I'm getting rid of sneakers pretty rapidly. I'm not. I'm if I'm not wearing them, I'm getting rid of them at this point, man. Like, I'm not gonna have hundreds of shoes that are new sitting in sneaker boxes. To me, I'm I'm over that shit. I will tell the a new sneaker head this though, because you starting off from scratch. So now it's like it's, you seeing what everybody else doing or whatever, right? Yeah. Certain OGs don't pass on them. I don't give a damn what generation tell you, man. Don't get the OGs, yo. Your OGs, certain OGs always hold their value. You, you, that's a staple in your collection. You gotta have a couple of them joints, certain ones. Them other ones don't be like passing them up. And then uh, if you go with uh, like a lot of quality stuff, then you ain't got to worry about like us sneaker heads that's way up there. We got a whole lot of quality shit, but we got a whole lot of sneaker fillers. And sneaker fillers will get you caught up where you like, yeah. man, I got to get rid of this shit. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. Like, like, like companies like Jordan brand, like, and and Nike, they release so much where they it's I don't, like people are start like becoming a like, program to feel like they need to buy everything every week until they start running low on bread, <laughs> and then they're like, as you said, I got to start getting rid of these things. If you don't really want the shoe, people, we need to start not buying the shoe and just put that money to the side and get something that you may have missed out on because these shits ain't ain't cheap. So for example, let's say like. They come out with a Jordan 1 and you buy it, but you didn't really need it. Instead of buying that for $180 plus tax and all that shit, 
you could have saved that money and let's say you wanted these you could have just bought these you know what i mean you could put that 180 on top I'll of be right back. rest no doubt for for the resale tip you know be picky man respect your pockets bitch sneaker has some of some of some of y'all sneakers don't respect your pockets bitch real talk so to everyone up in here, who up in here? Let me shout you out. Who up in here? Let me know. Let me know. Anything y'all want me to talk about, let's rock. Talk to me in that chat. And if you're just walking in here, the conversation is, uh, is there more excitement for a Jordan SB coming out? Or dunks are always going to trump the Jordans? Did the Jordan jump over the SB? Is the hype so real with the Jordan SBs that, you know, the dunks is just kind of, it's just there. We're used to it. Right now, the big excitement is is the future of Jordans when it comes down to the connection to the SB. And keep in mind, we had, you know, the Lance Mountain ones that were really nice. They um, had a underlay layer coat of paint. So um, they were painted white or black, and um, underneath was like a, Kind of like a black and um, red colorway and a black and um, blue colorway. So they were very cool. And they're not even... I thought they would be worth a lot more than what they are. I looked on StockX. They're not even worth that much. Which I was kind of shocked about. Shout out to you. Thank you. Uh, he says... Um, let's see what the chat got to say. Just don't buy LeBron. That's what Stretch says. Shit. Uh, let's see. She's been kind of light lately. Um, been stocking up on fit fitteds to um, hold me over. Okay. All right. Sean, you out of pocket, man. What people was, people still had crust in their eye when they dropped them, them LeBron 20s, boy. I bet you ain't even cop them joints. Yo, Sean, why don't you cam up, man? Why don't y'all have a little debate, a little, little talk? I would love that. You want to give me a Father's Day gift, uh, Sean? Cam up right now. <laughs> give me a Father's Day gift. I got three kids. Cam up. Talk to G-Fish. Man, your the kids world. ain't never seen Jordan. Jordan is 100,000 years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up? What up, Henry? What's popping, man? Oh, man. You remember me telling Rafi? Rafi what? I don't remember that. I don't know what you mean. He said five cops in the past in the last 30 days. Jesus Christ. Who said that? Um, I'm hated on. He bought five, sneak, five sneakers in the past 30 days. That boy on the run eating, ain't he? He on his yeah, lord. yeah. For real. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Fact, since um the drops have been um, dry, I've uh, bought 15 fitteds in the past month and uh, bought two fitteds today. Shit. Hats is really, like, super pop popular right now, man. Oh, not me. Oh, speaking of that, they doing... Uh, it's going to kind of mess up the people that doesn't make any bread and butter on them now. Like with different colors and the uh, um patches or whatever, because now New Era done picked up on that. So now New Era about to do the same thing as Nike. Oh, for real? Yeah, on fitted by you type. Oh wow, that's gonna be huge. Yeah. Like for real, for real. Um, but I, li I like how to come. My bad. My no, bad. no, you do. Go ahead. No, I, I was I was just trying to say I like how the company's doing their own mix and um they they going in depth with the patches like they're not just making them patches up like some of them stores are going back and doing their history when they had the actual patches just don't make them no more like I got a hat a Baltimore Oreos but on the side of my hat it got the ninety three All Star patch up there. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm not really that excited about much that's coming out. Is there anything? What are y'all excited about to come out? 
<laughs> he said, "Who wears elevens at LA Fitness?" Jesus <laughs> Jimmy says, uh, "Nothing wrong with LeBron twenties. They're a popular shoe on the basketball court on, in the NBA." I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. They they look pretty good to me, the LeBron twenty. But I'm not spending two hundred dollars on that shoe when there's so much other shit that I'd rather own. I'm not even saying that they're not worth um, two hundred dollars. Uh, I've just you know. I'm not going to buy that when I'm, I'd rather buy a Jordan or a different shoe. But go I'm on, very... go. Oh, my bad. I caught you in the middle. Go, go. Oh, go to Ghost? What do you mean? Yeah, I was just, I was just explaining to him like they changing up the whole program. That's going to, that's going to be a game changer for them. I think so. A lot of a lot of people are getting a little excited about those um, UNC toes. I've noticed. I've seen a lot of chitter chatter about that. You are you excited about those or not so much? No, uh, nah. And no, and no shot to stretch. You know how I feel about UNC. They big mid if they ain't Duke. So, <laughs> I'm cool on that. But then you got you still got the um. Is it the black toe lows? He's either the, I think it's either the bread lows or black toe lows. They supposed to be coming out within the next couple months. I'm trying to think what else. That was on the radar that people done forgot. That's supposed to come out. What the eights and the eights supposed to come out in July? Playoff. Um, I don't know. Let me look up that date. I'm passing on them too, but that that's a that's a classic. I I gotta get those. I gotta get them. Um, let's see. I don't know what the release date is. Let me find out. Playoff eight release date. I love when a motherfucker want to hang out with you, but they they say all the wrong like the wrong things to say, like. I got this chick hitting me up. Like, I don't, you are never hanging out with me again. Like, <laughs> she made me watch it. Like, like, don't come at me sideways and think we're going to hang out. Like, it's not fucking happening now. Like, sorry. Um, September 30th, they're releasing. September 30th. To complete my high OG. I got, we got some time on that shoe. You got some time. Uh, I mean, I, I know one other shoe, but people probably gonna pass on them. Um, I'm gonna pass. I was gonna get them until I got the dunks, which is black and orange. But um, uh, the black and orange twelves, but that's like a a, a homage to um the WNBA colors. Oh yeah, I remember that one. I'm not really <laughs> into that one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was gonna grab that because of because of B more, but shoot, I got the dunks now. I'm cool. I don't yeah. need them. Is there anything <laughs> you guys want me to talk about? I'm about to get up out of here in a minute. I think um, y'all want to keep going. Give me some inspiration in that chat, baby. Um, J Balvin three in September also. J Balvin three how, is the excitement still there for the J Balvin three? I think it, I think it's dead for right now. Is because just how the how the sneaker game going right now. I think we, it's basically gonna be a dry period, and then it's gonna start picking up mm -hmm. in August, going yeah. into September. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think they're nice, but I mean, I just don't know. I I think that people were excited at first. I just don't see a lot of talk about these right now. But if you think about it, they really ain't kicked this year off. Like last year, if you compare last year to this year, last year whooping twenty three ass right now. If you think about it, and sneaker releases. Yeah. Do you need these or no? Nah. Chat. Do we, do you guys need these J Balvin threes? Is this a must have? Is this a necessity? Let me know it's not a bad. It's not a bad sneaker, but I don't need them. Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's easy to put a fit with them. They ain't go too crazy. In nah, my opinion, they are better than the, they would. These are better than them tools. <laughs> Stretch said that I wear all my heat to do the craziest things. 
I always do. If I'm doing something awesome and wild, I usually wear heat, man. Right? That's what that's what you're supposed to do. Yo, man, you beat the brakes off them damn um the women's one, Joe. Oh my god. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I returned them and got a fresh pair. You talking about these? Are you serious? Yeah, I returned them and got another pair. Hey, that a bitch. So you out here playing kickball and baseball in the joints. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you were stomping with the big dogs. I used on the IG lives doing shit. And I'm like, yo, that boy crazy, boy. <laughs> yeah, man, I did a, vid a little short. I posted on the Dell show by accident and said, instead of the sneaker addict, me fucking, um, fucking up a pair of shoes, man. I was like wiping my my the my my foot on the toe of it. Like I was going crazy with it. Like I mean, they're sneakers, bro. You're supposed to wear your shits. They shoes. Bulldog, what's up, bro? Yeah, you supposed to wear them, but you you was taking it. You was push it to the limit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I throw my shit in the fire, bro. Nah, look, he gassed you up though. Once you called Nike, he was like, "Yeah, man, you could just pretty much do Yo, whatever you right. want." That was the inspiration right there. You're right. You were sitting there like, oh, word? Watch this shit. Watch this. I'm going to show you how to cook these. <laughs> Dude, I wore the shit out of them things. <laughs> I wore them to like this festival shit, and I beat the crap out of them, bro. But Hell I said yeah, he was stomping the yard. He was like, man, I'm going to cook. He was like, yo, what you, what you want on your plate? Watch me yeah. throw the seasoning on these shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said Nike gave the green light. Yeah. Real talk. Real fucking talk. <laughs> that shit was funny. Well, yo, that was a funny conversation. You were there for that, right? Yeah. LeBron is the coach. Yo, yo, stop playing, bro. Come on the show. You're here. Click the StreamYard link. I want to hear the two of you talking. Hey, look, that. man. I I got something for his ass. Hey, look, you, th cause you and a certain other person is be throwing all these stats at me. I got a stat for you. Oh, let's go. I got a stat for your ass. Goddamn, LeBron is leading. Sure. LeBron is leading year after year. Uh, goddamn, the most shoes in the goddamn outlet. He got a whole goddamn shelf <laughs> in the back wall. And say I'm lying. You go in that bitch, it ain't nothing but LeBron's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it must suck to be the quote unquote this generation's goat and your shits are all on sale. But Jordan's shoes were on sale too when he first came out. Yeah, but nah, these are prominent shoes. <laughs> 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 like these ain't these ain't no ice cream joints or or, or or like some fused Jordan ones like these. No, are down. I'm talking like the OGs were sitting. Even the hey, Jordan you, 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 you go in that bitch and pick up some LeBron LeBron and Palmer's in that bitch sitting on a back rack with the the box ripped off the top. Them shits were all sitting, bro. Like for real. I wonder if I have this promo here still because there was like a little bit of like this ad. Um. Damn, I wonder if I have it still. Hopefully, I didn't delete that. I think I did. If not, I want to play the Sean promo. Oh, yeah. And let's play this as the promo. Let's do this. Watch the end, man. Them shits were just available. Watch. Donos, keep this shit going. Send them donos, baby. What you got for me, man? What you got? Oh, shit! I want that, man. Where can I buy one of them things? That's dope! Hello! That's great! What is he doing? Why? What the fuck is going on here? Damn what got everything in there, man. He got lunch in there. He got Swiss Army knife. Who the hell rocks Swiss Army knives in 2022? God damn. 
It's Nike week. It's Dick's clothing and sporting goods. All this week, Woo! if it says Nike, Look at prices. Sale. Basketball shoes like the Penetrator are like The Penetrator. The Whoa. Awesome Air Jordans at $39.99. Give me 20 like pairs. $39.99. Can you imagine paying $39.99 for Jordans? Low prices on Nike fitness and aerobic shoes along with baseball pants. Hit that like. Leave them comments. How many pairs would you buy? Let me find out people hooping in Crocs now. You see what I'm saying with those Jordans? That was like the original shit. Yeah. You know? Like, it, that, them shits weren't selling like that. Boom, boom, boom! What's good? What's good is Sean, man. Thank you for the dono. Yeah, you tripping, balling in Crocs, bro. You get the sport more broke off them bitches with a good cross. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine? I wasn't going to get their fucking ankles broke. Like, for real, for real. Robbie, what up, baby? Hey, look. I would go at when I play ball. If you come to the court and you got some Air Force One, I'll be like, Yo, let me get the ball. Mismatch. Let me get that. <laughs> let me get that ball. You out here balling the Air Force One? Let me get the ball, yo. Ben Dover says, if um, if I got to wrestle any superstar, what shoe would I wear? I'd probably wear a LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Shit. Wrestling? Shit, you got to wear something like 11, probably, because they look like wrestling shoes, kind of, right? I'm wearing a fair guy. You wearing a fair guy? Are you going to be in the ring? Yeah, the, like the, the, the ones. They go about it. My foot locked down in there, got a zipper, and it looked like a as a sneaker boot. True. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, you are right. These are dope. I've seen Roman Reigns wearing these shits. Well, not these, the patent leather ones. These are the yeah. good ones. Yeah, maybe I'll wear the patent leather ones like Roman Reigns. Dun -uns, dun -uns. Yo, shout out to the Bloodline, man. Them motherfuckers are bringing <laughs> great storytelling to wrestling again. I love it. And I love the donos, baby. That should make me feel important. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate you. What's good is bad. Thank you for the donos, baby. That's what I'm saying, man. Take advantage of that shit. Ask questions. This child said, yo, just agree with G Fish logic. <laughs> yeah, that probably would be. That sure. <laughs> Great choice. People popping for that, what you said there. I'll bring your ass all down to the people's ramp, boy. Defend, yeah, yeah. defend your boy. Hey, look, and I'm Sean, I know you seen that it's really about to be over. Bradley Bill got traded to the um to the Suns, so it's Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, and KD is over. It's over for LeBron. Yeah, but KD keep getting hurt, bro. But you got Bradley Bill though. Bradley I Bill on. <laughs> Bradley Bill ain't no slouch, yo. <laughs> I know, but KD be he's 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 uh, on and off, bro. That man can't fucking stay healthy for nothing, bro. Shit, I'd rather, I'd rather have him than street clothes that's on the Lakers. True. <laughs> AD. Yeah, KD. AD. KD need to do that type of shit Kobe used to do. Kobe, I think, used to do, like, Brett, um, blood transfusion shits. Like, you go to, like, Europe, and they drain his blood and replace it with new blood and shit, I think. I'm not 100% on that. LeBron did the same shit. Yeah. I saw LeBron never get hurt. Kobe never really got hurt. They got that rich. They, they got that money. They invest their money right. Think about you got the same blood in your body for how long? These guys be like doing some shit. I don't know if they like literally are dr like draining all the blood so, out of them while they're putting in new blood. I don't, they do something with the blood though. Yeah. Because you got the same blood for how long? It's like the same shit. Yeah, they're getting oil changes in Germany. That's what I'm saying. Think, think about it, man. That shit make me want to do that shit. But I ain't rich, so I can't do that shit. <laughs> That's why rich people, man, they start looking good once they start getting money. You see these actors, they look like a bag of shit until they start making money. Then all of a sudden, you're like, God damn, they look good now. 
<laughs> Who's the guy from the office? You you watch the office, right? I haven't seen it before. Yeah. Dude in the big dude who's the main character in the office? The not not the his stage name, but the actor's name. Um The Office Um Cast. What the fuck is his name? <clears throat> so yo, stars were looking like a bag of shit. <laughs> yeah. Nah, when they, you do you see how good good they start looking, man? They look like fucking great after they start making money. Like Cardi B. Do all that shit, you know? Like Cardi B. Oh yeah, Cardi B looked good. She used to not look like that, you know. Steve Carell, right? Look at Steve Carell. A lot of people, y'all forget what Steve Carell looked like um, in the first season of The Office. You'll be like, he looked like Steve Carell. Guy, like his older brother or some shit. Watch, watch this shit. I know this ain't sneaker related, but I mean, what the fuck? It's something to talk about. Where's the first season of this shit? I got some sneaker related after you show that. Yeah, I'm trying to find the first season pictures. He didn't look the same, bro. He was like chubby and shit. You know. He was kind of fat in it, you know. Not fat shaming him, but he didn't. Lo- he didn't look the same. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, this is not a good. Um... Oh yeah, this is actually perfect because they show like he even got his hair fixed. Like his hair was all fucking jacked up too, and everything. He looked like a raging alcoholic in the first season, and then if you look at him in the later seasons. He looked different. Yeah, rest in peace to Big Pokey, for real, man. I heard he passed away today. Yeah. See, that's season one, and then that's like one of the last seasons. Look at his hair is all fucked up in it. I'm telling you, bro. These guys get to start becoming famous. Don't let me become famous. I'll start looking damn good. I have a whole set of fucking hair and shit, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, man. I'll be, I won't have these bags under my eyes. Like, I'll be looking fucking gorgeous, bro. Yeah, Corral. Yeah. You see this Man. difference? Yeah, I, I, I got, I got, on some sneaker shit. I got a challenge for Adidas, man. What is it? Go ahead. Yeah, man, are y'all going to get James Harden one decent shoe before that man retired? Man, that, his whole line is dude. <laughs> You were ever, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think his shit was horrible. You think it's what? horrible? Did you see them last Hardens? No, I don't even recall that shit. That's my whole point, though. Is you a sneaker channel? You ain't checking for them just because. Yeah, you know, I haven't been. I haven't been checking for them shits. <laughs> them shits is weak, uh, yo. Yeah. You don't get them shits out of here, bro. <laughs> that video of you as an old man was hilarious. What video was that? Which one? When I was an old man, shit, I've done so many fucking videos. Does Adidas have any decent basketball shoe? Let me think. Adidas have any decent basketball shoes? Yeah, these are good right here. I like these. These Adidas basketball shoes. These are real good. <laughs> the Adidas boot liners. And the crazy eight, yeah, crazy, eight crazy eight was is a great shoe. I think the crazy eight was was a popular one back in the days. You know, I mean, no one playing in that shit no more. But back then they were, I think. But I just be looking at Dame's Dame's shoe and 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 uh, Harden's, and I'm like, these supposed to be all staples, man. Like, man. <laughs> You know what? Dame, Dame Lillard had a few good ones. Um, uh, Derek Rose. Some people liked hooping in Derek Rose's sneakers. There was a bunch that did. You know. I don't know. I know Puma doing the Puma on uh, standing by Lamelo though. I like Lamelo's shoes. I actually do like them, but I'm not buying them. Yeah, fact. Did, I mean, as I said, man, I'm not gonna spend money on something that it's like. I don't need that shit. When you said, this is what the fuck I'm going to look like in five years. Oh, it was one of my shorts? Oh, God. 
<laughs> Yo, if you run into that again, copy and paste and send it back. Send it to me again. I'll be doing so many of these little videos. Oh, I think I remember, like, lightly. Like, it made me look like an old man. It was one of them filters. Yo, them filters are crazy, bro. Hey, what you would... think about them Bordo Harachis? Bordo Aspire Harachis. Where can I see those? On the, is it on sneakers? Uh, not it's not on sneakers. It's probably on um, sneaker news. But you know they just dropped the OG pair that yeah, was like one twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. So they they put a Bordeaux inspired color of them. All right. I mean, I guess. I mean, I'm good on all that. As I said, I'm I'm being kind of picky nowadays. You know. Yeah. Like, I just threw that out there. Yeah, I mean, I like. Let's look at Nike real quick. Actually, let's let's. Yeah, man. Once again, man. When you get rich, you should start looking better, man. Look like a bag of shit, and then you can start looking better, bro. Shout out to Steve Carell, man. I love that motherfucker. Um. So yeah, there ain't much really going on for a little bit, right? The Air Max is okay. Them LeBrons, I can't mess with. This LeBron is um, based on a PE he wore. It was a one-of-one one sneaker. Uh, 19, eight, uh, 2018, LeBron wore courtside. Now, I was talking about this. You know, people ain't even going to read this shit. Some of y'all don't read, bro. Some of y'all motherfuckers don't like to read. So, like, <laughs> you're just looking at a LeBron, right? You're not reading the fucking description. you see seeing a purple shoe. Hey Nike, just a little idea because I don't. Maybe these will sell out. Do do these shit sell out or no? Uh, Laker Laker fans are gonna buy them like that, and then people that think they're gonna make some money off of it gonna buy what, it. What I'm trying to get is why not just put a picture of LeBron when he was in 2018 wearing those one on ones. Facts. Like you, like you got you got the first photo. Which is, you know, that's a proper photo. No one needs to see the fucking outsole as soon as you click on it. Put the photo next of LeBron sitting on the bench wearing those sneakers in 2018. That would raise eyebrows, bring some interest. They don't know how to market LeBron shit, too, like, at all. I don't think they should just do it just for LeBron. It should be for any athlete mm -hmm. that they uh drop, like the backstory yeah. picture, like when they drop the pennies. They should have that. It, uh, it, moments that Jordan wore his sneakers on the retros, like these eights coming out. Put up the, a picture of him wearing the eights. Yeah, yeah. Why not? You need to. Y'all need to push the envelope. Of, uh, he says that it's not their photos, but yeah, they got the rights to them shits. Probably Nike. If they're wearing How? them sneakers, would you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. Cause they could sue Nike for using them joints. Mm. These shits are horrible. Does anyone like this? And on another note, the reason why it's funny Sean brought that up. You know, um, the infamous uh picture with Cameron holding he decked out in pink and he holding the pink next to. Yeah. Yeah, the person suing him for that. How? Because he said it's my it's his picture. He's suing him because he's the one that took the photo? Nah, he taking he's suing Cam because Cam taking that picture and putting on things and selling it. But the image of that picture belongs to the guy that took the picture when he was coming out the Rockefeller office. Yeah, but it's a picture of, of him. Yeah, nah, they going to court for that right now. As we speak. So you trying to tell me someone can take a picture of me and then put it on something and then and then and then I use it for my own shit, and then you come back and sue me for that? Yeah, because it's my picture. I took it. Man, fuck your picture. It's me in the picture, bro. <laughs> fuck your picture, G-Fish. <laughs> you taking a picture of me, bro. <laughs> that's cr that's the crap. I mean... <sighs> See, I ain't saying it won't crazy. That shit crazy. It's like, yo, you no, wouldn't no, have no, no picture no, if it weren't for me. Saying, like, does anyone <laughs> like agree that this is not absolutely that insane? That shit weak. You wouldn't have no damn moment of picture if it weren't for me. <laughs> he just mad he took the photo and no one knows it. 
Should have tagged that shit, asshole. Hell no, nah, that that photo infamous. That cam on all pink. Yeah, but no one knows. No one knew who knew it was his. Oh photo. yeah, 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 yeah. He should have tagged that shit. That's why I say, man, you tag your photos, bro. That nigga come back to you and say, "Yo, how much for the photo without the tag?" You know. Or well, maybe he like getting it. that. Maybe he getting that cam because everybody that's using that Dipset logo and trying to make money can be <laughs> can be running down on people. He give you oh, an opportunity bro. to make a business proposition with you as soon as you say no. He sue your ass for using that Dipset logo. That's wild. I didn't know about this story. What do you guys think of shit like this? What do you think about this, G Fish? You let y'all like this? Hell no. Yeah, but my whole thing is some a lot of people want like like Supreme Donks that is basically elephant print like that. It's kind of the same kind of color blocking, right? I mean, I know it's a Jordan 1 and not a Dunk, but I'm saying they're very similar, the shoes. I don't Y'all know that... with that much elephant print on it. Nah. I don't know. With me, I don't really want a shoe with elephant print anymore unless it's a Jordan 3. Oh, her last name's Cochran. That's why. She probably related to Johnny. That's probably the deal. Shit. Said so photographer. I'm not going to try to pronounce that first name. I don't want to fuck it up. Rosa Cochran accused the Harlem dipset rapper of profiting off of an image that she took off of him. Printing it on merchandise. Yo, that's crazy to me. You took the picture of Cameron. And you're going to sue him after? Jesus Christ. Only in America, bro. Only in America this type of shit happens. <clears throat> I'm going to get on my nori. That's like... <clears throat> You be doing your wrestling wrestler content, and you take a picture of one of the wrestlers, and they use that joint. You can sue the brakes off their ass. That's yeah, DJ Dove's image. Yeah, that's fucking whack, bro. Like people got no like morals and shit. Like, once you feel like a piece of shit doing that, I know I would. Come on, G Fish. You gonna I wouldn't even take it that far. These are you trying to tell me these don't look good, bro. Gee, you don't like these? <clears> oh <throat> no. Those shits are those things are kind of dope, bro. The twenties is not that bad. Like they, they really I, I agree, Jimmy. I agree with you, bro. The LeBron 20 is better than his last couple of sneakers that he done put out. Yeah, last five. <laughs> he hasn't won me over since the, I think the 13 or some shit. It's been a long time, LeBron. And then why, what is this shit? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, Jordan Brand? For what? Why not just put out the Jordan Six white infrared? Why are you doing this? But that's why that's why people got a stigma for the sevens as it is now. For real, yo, you're doing some herb shit to the seven, bro. <laughs> you herbing them out, bro. You making these fucking sneakers look like suckers. Why would you put an inf why would you do this? Like, why would you do this? Yo, the Jordan 7 gets no respect, and this is why. It's your fault, Jordan Brand. Nah, you know what the, um, remember when they had them flights that looked like 7s? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's that's what happened. They really that hooking killed, the that, shit out of people, man. <laughs> that killed the 7s altogether. 
And then you got these moms buying the fucking flight, those flight, whatever the hell they call true flights. They buying them shits for their kids, thinking they bought them something special. They so out of tune with what's going on in the world. They think it's every Jordan's good. Fucking poor kids out there. Hey, look. Hey, look. So my people's right. They in this club, this car club, whatever. And the chick was like, hey, my husband a sneakerhead. Hey, look. He said, my husband a sneakerhead and sent my people the picture. And they sent it to me. And was like, what are these, right? That shit has some six rings in that bitch. And like a whole bunch of fused Jordans. I'm like, man, them shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I started dying laughing. I was like, yo, stay away from the six rings. That shit is a trap. Yo, I like six rings. Mm-mm. I learned my lesson the last time I bought them. I was like, nah. I like I the first wait. time they came out. Yeah, they, that's what I'm they, talking went about. Cra- they went too crazy. They should have just came out with the bread joint and they came out with the, um, when did they come out with a bread one? And a Concord one. And then they start putting out a flint. That's when they start getting crazy with it, bro. I was like, I'm good, yo. <laughs> they, then they did all types of nut shit, bro. I actually don't mind the six rings. He said Facts, bacon Sean. soda. Facts. Bacon, bacon. soda. <laughs> this one's for you. Shout out to Sean. Keeping it moving and grooving, man. Show love. We'll rock out. Let's go. I'm out here and I'm scrolling down Instagram. You know, and I see uh, my good friend Charlemagne did an interview talking about Tom Brady is the greatest athlete of all time over Ooh. Michael Jordan. What well, fucking, what type of crack cocaine they got out there in New York? Because, nigga, you tripping. Didn't Tom Brady lose three Super Bowls? Hmm? Michael Jordan never lost in the finals. Matter of fact, Michael Jordan never even been to a game seven. You know why? Because you talk slick and I'm going ice your ass in six. He get niggas out of here. Michael Jordan was so good that he won three championships and then told them niggas, y'all can't guard me. This shit getting boring. I quit. I'm going to go play baseball because you niggas can't fuck with me. One played baseball for two years and then came back and won another three. So if he never left, he would have won eight championships in a row. Michael Jordan is 111 years old right now, still selling more sneaks than every nigga in the NBA. Right now, your kids never see Michael Jordan play ever in life, but they want to pay a joint. Boy, Young Jizzle, nigga, y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dells. Peace, man. What's up, y'all? This is Calvin, and right now you're checking out DJ Dells. Stay in tune with him, all right? DJ Dells, absolutely wonderful. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good, Sean, man? So to you, bro. Thank you. Hey, you see what, um, what, what's his comment at? Uh, fly fishing, you exactly right. They, I don't know why they playing with them Olympic sevens. And the play all sevens. Why is you playing? Yeah, there's with- a new, there is a new shoe that is so crazy looking. And I've been, I forgot. I took footage of it, but I never, I never did it. Let me look for this. They did this other Frankenstein looking fucking thing. Let me try to find this, Jordan. It's crazy looking, bro. They have them in a Concord color, bread color, New York Knicks color. I forgot what it's called. Let me just search Jordan. Let's keep it a buck, though. Like this sneaker or the screen, right? We done seen this before in like 2006 with the, when they had the, when you know the joints was fake, fake. <laughs> They had this colorway out. Wait a minute. They got a cock. Uh, Jordan Low. Oh, it's only in a big size 17. They had the cool gray lows. So, Jesus Christ. I got to find this damn um, Jordan sneaker, bro. This shit is the most hideous shit I've ever seen in my life. Bro. Hey, hey, look, think about it. You you passing out these DMPs. Like, can we get the DMP 7s? Can, can we get a, a piece of a DMP 7? Oh, the golden moment joints you talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I gotta find this shoe. This shit is crazy looking. I seen it at the store and I, I filmed it. I said I'm gonna do a funny video on this one of these days. One of these days. But um, I, I keep forgetting to fuck with it. I gotta look for it. Um, let's see. It's gotta be on the site. No one's buying these shits. They're, they're crazy looking. 
It's like a Jordan flight, some shit. It's it's it looks so crazy, bro. You have no idea. Nah, they gave us an infrared, an infrared six. Nah, bring back the varsity sixes. Damn, I gotta find this shit. If it's the last thing I do. The last time they came out with the varsity six was like oh seven, oh eight. Where is this shit? I think it's called like the flight something. It's not the one that looks like the seven. It looks like an eleven and a. It's just oh my! Is this it? This is this is it. This shit is so horrible. Wait till you see this, bro. You may have a stroke. You may have a seizure or some shit. This shit, I may like this shit is crazy. Look at this, bro. What the hell is this? Hold on, hold on. That's the shit I be talking about right there. <laughs> That's oh, the shit I be talking what about. What the hell is this shit? You re- like this is crazy. That's you the gotta- shit you wear at LA Fitness, Sean. Right there. That's the type of shit you wear at LA Fitness. Right there. It's- Get them shoes and dog no. them out on the treadmill. Yo, and so it's got like the uh, it's got the eleven. It's got. Oh my god, wait till you see the bird's eye view of this thing. And you know, some poor kid got this shit as a gift for their birthday because their fucking parents don't know that this is a piece of crap sneaker. Look at this shit. You got like pan leather for like the 11 and then you got pieces of the 12 and then you got the tag from the 11. Then you got the 8 tongue, like the 6 rings. Nah, that's when the old heads be in the in the corner store buying up oh, all the yeah, damn yeah. lottery tickets. Be like, what you doing there, plan man? Yeah. Let me get a let me get a seven, eleven, eight, <laughs> sixteen. Yeah, let me get a pack of black and man. <laughs> yeah, they got a big ass tall boy, twenty two ounce can of beer, right? I mean, this is insane. Like, what the hell? Like, y'all really, really think this was the move? Like, this is look at the back, bro. Oh my god, this shit don't even look real, man. That's what killed right that type of stuff right there is what killed the sevens, where people got their nose in the air like they a fine chick at the sevens. Like, I ain't wearing no sevens. Yo, it's funny what you said because I see those type of heads out there. You go to the store. Like the deli, you know, or the bodega yeah. or some shit. And you see that one guy, and he walking with an old older cat, walking with a little lean to him, you know, like OG of the OG. And he wearing them shits. He wearing these shits, bro. On some Will Smith. I just finished wiping my car down. <laughs> <laughs> old turtle wax head ass. <laughs> Dude, this is a, these are insane looking. Like, like who authorized this shit? Like and said, okay, let's do this. Hey, look, you know how much flack I caught when I said, "Yo, Nike need to start getting back to the streets, right?" And then, then we just seen an article talking about Nike doing a change, talking about they need new blood. A uh, duh, a <laughs> uh, duh. This shit don't make no sense. Oh, they even did a PSG on it, and you can get this shit for ninety three dollars right now. Yo, PSG, he did a PSG join on this? Oh, my God. God help us all. If y'all having fun, hit that like if you haven't yet. It really helps the performance of these videos. Like, why even, why, yo, if I was PSG, I'd be like, no, fuck that. I ain't doing this shit. But they made him do these. Hey, look, real quick, everybody in the chat, right? Look to the right of your screen, right? If you're on your phone or your, uh, your laptop or desktop is buttons on the side. Everybody hit a hundred. Like quick, quick, like five seconds. Everybody just tap that joint real quick. Yeah, tap the hundred or the heart. Hit them shits. That shit brings more people in here. I just I keep forgetting about that. Hit that shit like you playing Tekken real quick. Just blah. yeah, yeah. Hit that. They should um just make Travis Scott creative director of Nike and people buy it all. 
I don't know. You think Travis Scott put out one of these? People would buy this. Shit, Travis Scott did try. What was that one? The trail, oh, the trail yeah. running. Yeah, that bricked, right? Yeah. I mean, shit, yo, his, his Jordan Six ain't no holding no weight. Them shits ain't worth nothing, right? Oh man, I bought them joints from the hat. <laughs> oh, I bought them with Royal. Well, I didn't buy them, but I had this company buy them for me. High, high. Both of them, the olive and it on. Um, but I, I like, I love yeah, my uh, what my cat. Donald Hodge, salute Donald Hodge. Salute Donald Hodge. It's my guy. Yeah, I'll be killing the fit with the um. Oh with yeah, the yeah. Khaki. The trainers didn't sell well either. The ones that had the little cover on them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they came with the rubber, right? Yeah, it was like a car cover. I think that's what they were trying to go with. Michael Jordan couldn't. Dude, these shits are so horrible, Donald. Horrible. Like, this is cringy. Like, the Dub Zeros, I never owned the Dub Zeros, but I never looked at them like this. This is, like, sinful, bro. Like, really bad. Really, really bad. So, yeah, that's why the Jordan 7 is effed up because of stuff like this. Maybe. Yeah, you know, maybe. <laughs> Ain't no maybe. I mean, fact. it don't even like it don't even look right though. That's the thing. It looked deformed, bro. Now I'll tell you one that looked nasty. When they fused the Air Force One with the George One, that shit that is nasty. Those were <laughs> fucking crazy looking. But those were those were kind of the better ones. Yeah, I fell into that trap, but now I look back at it, I was like, man, what the hell was I thinking? I man? know, me too. You know why? Because they they gave you a nice little box with the peek boo window in it and everything. I, I'll tell you another uh, nasty thing I bought. I had the Jordan 6, um, the boots, the snow boots. Oh, I didn't go that route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't that that um, wild like you with this shit. Yeah, I was um, tripping. Yeah, hey, listen, it'd be like that. Fusion. It looks like it's some of these fusions. We did this once a long time ago. Like, the fours were horrible. Oh, my God. I don't like the Spizz Ice, neither. Um, I like um, Spizz Ice. I don't like them. Man. Look at this shit. Oh, these were bad. You know why? You know why? You know why I didn't like the Spizz Ice? Because people that first came in the game got them joints. Them, they gave them confidence where they was talking trash. I was like, man, first of all, get you a retro first before you come in the, in the house and then wipe your feet talking shit with, mm. with two spizz <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, They don't even have many of these fusions. Let me look up fusions. I want to look at fusion. Fusion Air Jordan. Fusion Air Jordan. No, they're not pulled. This one's being pulled up. Over. Three billion dead jeans. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no, Sean. Look, man, this is what I'm not about to let you do. I'm going to let you have a little fun while we joking on Jordan right now. But we ain't going oh to get on your goddamn wood with them LeBron soldiers. Soldiery, sir. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, these? Remember these? <laughs> I'm just nasty, boy. These weren't watch, the worst of them, though. But watch, look, watch. All it take for let Travis Scott rock one of them joint, rock that pair these, right there. These kind of look, these kinda look like these kind of look like some, you know, some mids, mid. Um, I mean, I don't mean mid like the shit is mid, but I'm saying like it kind of just looked like an Air Force One with the stitching from the twelve. This one, Man, you does. You was right the first time. This shit is mid, but look. If you take, <laughs> you take that 90 and put that bitch backwards and try to oh my God. This, is, this is the worst of the worst right here. This is bad. The eight. Oh my God. Look at this. That's awkward. That's Jim Jones' voice. Them shits is nasty. Oh my God. Nasty. Them shits is weird. Now we in the bacon soda zone right now. This is real bacon soda right here, boy. Holy shit. I'm trying to find some. Oh, my God. This... No, nah, no, nah, I ain't going to have to call it bacon soda. This is, this is, they got their own category. This is scraping the last pot of spaghetti, the little corner, little, little corner. Piece. Look at this. God. 
That's hideous, bro. Holy shit. Ugh. Oh my god. I have the aqua eight. And and you got the aqua the eight. Aqua is I bet you, crazy. The aqua I bet eight. You never, I bet he never pulled them bitches out in a sneaker battle. I bet you ain't never pulled them shit out. <laughs> Aqua 8 is crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you have them? Yo, cam up, bro. Cam up. I yeah. want to see this. You lying. Cam up. I want to see those. No, I'm boy, look. I ain't go, I'm going to keep it a buck. That shit look better than them other ones that you showed, though. I ain't going to play. I think the first one I showed, the, um, the 12 one wasn't that bad. Wasn't that good. Was that bad? <sighs> Excuse me. Them shit's I got like more images. Man, you got some more mom spaghetti in the corner, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, the 13 is a laughing stock. They did the He Got Game 13, Air Force One. Jesus Christ. They like, look at the freaking pods. They just like painted on there. That's bonkers, bro. See, Dunks ain't got to go through this shit. No. Nah. ain't got to go through all that. They just would try. I don't know why Jordan Brand got to keep fucking with stuff, trying to like make things happen. Like, you know, you don't, y'all don't need to do this kind of activity. Remember they had these too, the um, the Jordan Four Air Force One. There was some threes I remember, and I owned the three. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just seeing the same old shit now. Hey, look, they go, they go content right there. You need to just go ahead and get down. Get gather all them pictures and roast the shit out them joints. Yeah, no, we've done this before about a year or so ago. We did this. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other ones we haven't done yet. What the fuck is this? Is this supposed to be the? Oh my god, this is the six, the Jordan Six Fusion. Look at this shit. Facts. He said this made Shaq Walmart brand. Yeah, Shaq. Yeah, Shaq you're right, Donald. Too. For real. He said this is the making of a liger. <laughs> hey, hey, look. What's funny? He said that, but if you think about it, what people don't know is that that Nike make them Shaq shoes that be in Walmart. Really? Yeah. They make them shoes, and he was on um, what's that that show on Complex? The sneaker shopping joint, he was like, Nike don't want, they don't want to attach their name to it. So basically, it's like they doing a, they universal and got that Shaq Dev uh, Jam. They just, you know what I'm saying, distributing them joints for Shaq. Wow. I did not know yeah. this. That's wild. Shaq is yeah. bread, boy. Shaq is getting bread. Ever Scott going to bring these shits back. Whoever was on the team fired immediately. Shit. Uh, they was we we didn't get a drop every week. It was killing us with the food. Facts, facts. These make Master P sneak. No, hell no, nah, no, they don't. Master P ain't never had a hot sneaker. Lloyd Banks told you that back in the day. Other than a Master P sneaker. What was a massive? I don't even remember what masterpiece sneaker looked like. Let me look it up. The P. Millers, and then you got the Miyagi's. It's like he ain't even getting no better. You ain't even graduated. Them P. Millers was trash. Master P. Oh my God. Money. What did they call him? The Money the Yachty. Yachty. Now, nah, I'm talking about the other ones, the back of the day, early 2000s. Joints was the P. Millers. The Miyagi's is now. <laughs> Free shipping. Jesus Christ. I wouldn't even be mad if the final boss took them joints. He did me a favor. And now stretch back, um, back at the back. No, pause. Oh, he got him. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. 
Oh man, this is with the sky box. Man, that's a violation. That is a violation. It doesn't have the peekaboo insert right there. I think it does, right? Oh no, that one didn't have it. Oh my yes! Oh, that's incredible. (laughs) Man, they all dusty and shit. Yo, those are incredible. Wait, wait, wait. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, that ain't been, that ain't been over hey, look. in at least 10 years. Ooh. Hey, look, I hit you with the 50 cent when he told Floyd, I'm going to hit you with that uh, AELS challenge for you, Floyd. <laughs> Pull them jokes out yeah, and just leave like, them out. You ain't got no uh, tailpipe like me. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell is that right there? A wing? Yeah. Wing. It's a spoiler. Holy crap. Yeah. He only jumped two inches off the ground and them joints with the spoiler. Game one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah. Jordan A. Yeah, that's incredible. It was perfect for a Hornets game. This shit, I cop him. <laughs> for real, a lot of us, I think a lot of us did, man. I never I'm got past the P sneaker, though. But I'm clowning them joints that Stress got. But let Stress throw them bitches on right now. Because all the time that, that done left. And they be like, yo, what are those? I bet you them shits will get respect right now. Yeah. In the streets. Hey, yo, I haven't seen them in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you, yo, you'll have yo, you'll probably have mad people talk to you about those. This is the uh, world's on the inside of the tongue, too, I guess, for the forces. Hey, there you go. That's content right there. The next time you would those, throw them bitches on and record and see how many people be like, yo, man, what are those joints, man? Yeah, I, I don't know. Would you rock them with the tips up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to. You got to. You got to go. You got to rectify yeah, the situation. Be more dynamic, I believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah those are so crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Lying. I can't believe it. This just got the slide box, but then the, the 2011 bread and had no slide box. They just gave you the regular box and threw the... um. The red plastic in the box, and them joints got the slide. I had one that had an insert in it. That's what I mean. It the 2000 um, was the 2012 bread 11. Didn't even had the slide box. That's crazy. Yeah, let's see how much was retail. One forty. Wow, what a deal! (laughs) One. What a deal. That's great. Yeah. I wonder if those are worth any money. <laughs> Probably not. How much? How I wonder how much you could get a pair of those for now. Shit, if they are. Yeah, he Probably slides them joints. One of them joints be like, yo, they they like they like fifteen hundred. You slide them joints. Yeah, yeah. you a baller in those. Yeah, yeah. Especially with. No, nah, I'm talking about right now. Somebody be like, yo. But on goat, them joints going for like fifteen hundred use. You slide them joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can go. Distribution <laughs> on eBay. I'm looking real quick. I clean them up real nice. Oh shit! They going for some bread, bro. All right. Well, hundred and thirty-five dollars. <laughs> Fuck! I paid more than that twenty years ago. How much they going for? How much oh, they going we for? One, we got one pair for forty-nine ninety-five. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They been on YouTube, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I bet you I could find a pair of them joints and play those closet though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're probably yeah. three, at least three in there. Yeah, I do miss those <laughs> shoe trees that came in the 11s. That's what I miss. They just quit that shit though, huh? Yeah, those shits were flopping heavy. In the beginning, people were buying them when they did like the three. And then they had like the exclusive release. I remember buying the exclusive release. It was like a low top Air Jordan three, Air Jordan um, Air Air Force one. There were two colorways. One was like white and gold. I got that one. I remember. Yeah. But those ones see, you were showing a second ago were terrible. Oh see, my that, God. that was back then where we was kind of giving Jordan fatigue, and then you was also forcing yourself to look for something else. And then it was like, yeah. well, shit, let me get these shits a try. And then. After a while, you're like, yo, why the hell did I buy this shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm walking out there like real cozy too in them shits. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and you made sure you wore them shits that weekend. You like, yo, man, I don't cock these, I don't throw these jokes on on Friday. You know what I'm saying? Try it on the bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'll show up at a whole Charlotte Hornets fit and wear these Fusion 8s and go see Dells. <laughs> Uh, yeah. First of all, there was a um a fusion. I think it was a lower mid. Um, oh yeah, here these. I actually bought these back in the days. Um, that's a good point too. Yeah, I forgot uh, his comment. He said, "Yo, they don't even give us the shoe trees no more. Or the cardboard joints. And that joints come in straight paper at them joints. Do they now? Yeah, like all sneakers. Yeah, I, I had these back in the days." Shit, the SB fours don't they don't in the SB fours came with stuff paper. SB SB four was I don't remember. I actually don't don't remember. I could look at the box if I I don't remember where I put the box. I think it was I think it had pay uh much cardboard shoe tree in there. Wow, there's really not much on sneakers app going on here. See, this fucking Jordan took us somewhere else. This Jordan gave us like a 45-minute piece right here. Bugs is looking for um, some more of his Fusion collection. Just bear with us. He'll be right back. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Mm, your boy was thirsty. There you go. Yeah. Hey, the SB4's got regular stuff paper on them. See, I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't. Know. <laughs> what was the last eleven that had the shoe trees in it? Um, was it the gammas? I think so. Nah. Hold on. Did that, what was the last eleven that had what, shoe trees? Like no, the plastic. You talking about? No, the uh, the uh, seventy-two and tens had the plastic in it, and then yeah. the copies had the purple yeah. um, plastic joints. These joints. Oh, no. No, space, the Space Jams had the purple on um, plastic joint. Yeah, they need to bring that shit back. The kids and Warren Dells out with the with, with the pool, boy. You know, y'all like five times, boy. Oh, <laughs> I have no, my Yo, these kids, I did so much with these damn kids today, man. No, me too. They weren't even mine. Dude, I took them to, I took them, I picked them up like around like 1030, took them to this koi fish pond shit. Mm -hmm. They love going over there. You're not supposed to really feed them, but you, it doesn't hurt them. You throw a little piece of bread and shit and they eat them, but they say don't feed them. <laughs> we have fun doing that shit. So we feeding the koi fish. For like a half an hour to an hour. Then we took them to the park. They playing in the park. Then took them to get some food. Went out and got some lunch. Then took them to this store. Took them to a few stores to go shopping. I mean, shit. It's Father's Day, but it's really about the kids, you know? Yeah. And then, yeah. I, and then I took them to the pool after. Shit. You about ready for a nap. And huh? then, damn... Man, there were these two chicks at the pool, bro, and they started playing fucking all these songs and the, the, like the worst songs you could play around kids and shit. Uh -huh. Like, I was like, man, what the fuck are you playing this shit around my daughter? Like, and then they started taking like photos of each other. <laughs> like, uh -huh. you know, they were trying to get like sexy doing all these photos. I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here, bitch. You're fucking <laughs> up. <right now. laughs> Like why? Why couldn't I be here by myself? Like you know, like not with my children. You know, where were where were those young ladies' fathers at today? They needed, they <laughs> oh, needed that's them. a question. Oh. Yeah, they messed up the whole wave. I was like, I gotta leave. I had my first ever uncle's day today, so that was cool. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, we did all kind of shit. We went swimming. We had a water fight with like guns. It was the little guns at first, and they broke out the cannons where you draw the water in them and you can blast them like 30 feet. We played basketball. We played football. We went swinging. Then we had hibachi. Shit. Hey, hey, as Sean said, if uh, the Earth Day people going to have a shit fest, basically if we bring back them um, shoe trees. Why? Wow, they ain't plastic. 
<laughs> they ain't gonna wind up in the ocean. That ain't biodegradable. Yeah. And tree huggers ain't worried about the plastic in our shoes. Shoot, they ain't worrying about the box chopping down the trees for the box. <laughs> They worry about all the FedEx trucks that it takes to deliver them. <laughs> <laughs> all the emissions. Hey, I'm glad. What's the name of my body here? Was it uh, laser shits? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, what happened to them? They just disappeared off the face of the earth? Did they close? I don't know, but a lot of people got fired. Like, that shit made the national news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they probably just got a little uh, community service to do. Nah, like that one dude, they put some charges on him. It oh. was like he stole at least like fifty thousand dollars worth of shit. So that's what they called him. He probably stole about two hundred. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ! <laughs> that's how it goes. They don't ever catch it all. Let's know if there's anything you want us to talk about. Drop it in the uh, super chat. Hey, I don't think there's much more to talk about tonight. Shit. We yeah. looking for people to battle on Friday. Who want to fucking battle on Friday so I can promote you all week? <laughs> v said he would. Oh, no, wait. He said, I got a fusion. He does. Drop the link. Oh, he, oh, he said drop the link? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, this fusion is battle. fusion night, and I feel all right. It's fusion night. <laughs> it's a fusion, <laughs> night. <laughs> it's a, it's a fusion battle. One v one right now. Oh my lord! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, bro. They were cool. Yeah, being an uncle is definitely dope because you can like leave and the kids don't go with you. <laughs> I like that part. Yeah. Yeah. Supreme has their teas coming out on Thursday. Oh, for real? Yeah. If anybody's up on that, they had a motion logo tea, so that's that's always dope. <laughs> Ron G wouldn't stand a chance, Albert. Y'all going after these born and raised joints? Uh, yeah. Need some money. Yeah, I'm sleep. I want them clocks. The clocks that just come out? No, sir. I want oh, them here joints. Go, here we go. Here we go. I'm talking about the court ones. Let's <laughs> go, V. He just took his hat off again. <laughs> Same box. Which one you got? Which one you got, V? Oh, he got the window. Was it the fives? He got the window. V, say something. Yo, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. We can hear you now. Good. Okay, I'm sorry. This is AJ Fives. Um. Reflective pair. Holy crap. That's like the uh, Air Max. <laughs> that shit is, yeah, yeah. It looked like the 112. Did that come out before um, DJ Clark Kent did his shit? Maybe he copied um, uh, this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's hear that. Yeah, that was too much when I saw you were doing a fusion. You don't see fusions often for a reason. No. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Look at those sharp teeth. That's so funny. Hey, look, yeah. man. I know y'all. Hey, look, he didn't. He didn't. You got two fusions and stepped in the arena. I know somebody else. One of y'all go in that handy dandy basement in that garage. I know one of y'all mother lovers got another fusion in the cut. Yeah, Come yeah. Come on, yeah. on up. Here's Come the on other up. <laughs> this ain't a fusion night. Come <laughs> on up. <laughs> didn't think this was happening. Did you got? <laughs> Yeah, I remember I had the big ass hang tag on mine too. Oh yeah, it did it had that like metal hang tag? Uh, I got it somewhere. Those are wild, bro. Is it got green lights or is that? Wait, I was... never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah he said kick James said green bean infusions. That's what it is, I think, right? Uh, that volt jump, man. Yeah. One good thing is the whole thing's reflective. Let me see if I can turn if I can turn my light on. Or... <laughs> oh no, it's not gonna work. That be... No, I'm not gonna be able to show the reflectiveness. It'd definitely, probably be a good fighting shoe. <laughs> a 
the fighting chair. <laughs> with all the straps and the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of support with that one, right? <laughs> oh, you can. Oh, yeah, you got the Kobe. It's the wrestling boot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Nori, like, like a wrestler. A wrestler. A wrestler. That's good for wrestling, wrestling, r- r- wrestling. Like how Nori be saying, like a wrestler. Like a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> so how much did you get those four on stock hicks, if you don't mind me asking? They were a good deal. I got them when I first started collecting a couple of years ago. Probably yeah. like one hundred and fifty dollars. Saw that yeah. shipping and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So it was worth it for me. I like the colorway. It was something kind of odd and different. I like Air Forces, so and Jordan. So it was kind of a weird fusion, I guess. Yeah. Well, they got their time to shine right now. Look hey, look, yeah, so that's why I was like, look, look. Yeah, hit me up. Let me give these guys a chance to get yeah. in the light ones. Hey, but you see how you said it started off like that, right? I bet you, I bet you, your collection right now is even crazier because, like, the world is yours in the beginning. You're like, man, let me get this, let me get that, let me get this, let me get that, and then you look back, you're like, damn. <laughs> yeah, at first you don't really know which way to go, but then you find your avenue in your lane, and then you kind of stick to it. Branch off yeah. a little here and there. I still got it. I started years ago. I'm up to about 52 pairs. I try to research every pair, get something different. Um, I think I got multiple silhouettes of his Air Force Ones, but I try to just get one of each silhouette, my favorite one, and keep it moving. Hey, just because so my man, the first key word you said, he went and did his research. My man, salute. Oh, yeah, look at what my research got me. You've <laughs> 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 come a long way. <laughs> yeah, no, I, like the collection, but I like five, so I wanted two pairs of fives. Like I said, I could only let me show you my other five that I got. Where's my oh, <laughs> y'all in for a treat tonight, huh? Yeah, y'all got heaters. I'm gonna start it. I'm trying to get different stuff again. Oh, yeah, those are special. He's uh, yeah, see? well, it's not no laces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I told you, I knew he won't play. I had a feeling. I'm like, yeah, he's showing us this and that. People laughing. I'm like, yeah, he got some shit. Yeah. Nah, he got some shit. I know he got some shit. <laughs> I try it's to not- get some different to make my own collection unique. I don't want to have the same stuff everybody got, so I try to I get something it. kind of that I like, I but it's it. also a little different. Nah, that's dope, bro. nah, V's good people, man. He's good people, V. Nah, come on. We all good people. So, yeah. Most nah, of us aren't. G Fish ain't. Nah, G Fish is Gemini, bro. Gemini is Gemini. But think about it. Before he came up, everything that I said, and now he's just showing it. I yeah. said it before he came up. So, like, and then the key word when he say, oh, I did my research, a lot of people pick sneakers and be like, yo, what's that? Uh, what's well, black and green, man? I just grabbed it. Like, he knew what he was doing. Uh, every time the show be going all over the place, it's always different. That's why I don't click on the video, expect it just be that title. You click on every video because you know we're going to go all different places with it, man. You know, it's always a roller coaster ride, baby. Definitely. But yeah, these yeah. born and raised comes with like sweatshirts and shit. I'll cop a sweatshirt if I can get the sneakers. The merch for that joint look hot though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it does. Real mm-hmm. talk. Real fucking talk. Well, my dog's telling me I gotta go. So y'all be good. I'll catch y'all in the chat. Yeah. Thank you for coming through, man. Any LeBron futures? I'm sure they call soldiers. soldiers. They call it the soldiers. That's what they the call. Sol- it. Yeah, yeah, the soldiers is them, bro. <laughs> I'm a yeah. soldier. Yo, shout out to Sean. Thanks. First off, I ain't creasing no shoe for no bitch. Oh, 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 
Yeah. I was not expecting this. See what had happened I was expecting this Because right I was yeah. not expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the match is right now. Through it, I hope. Oh, my. That shit's creepy as hell. Oh, my God. What the hell is that down there? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he look like he's laughing off my life. <laughs> you thought I was dead, but I ain't, baby. Flex, yes! Boom, baby. Yeah! Boom, boom, boom! What's good? What's good is Sean, man. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate the donut. I ain't creasing for no bitch. Ooh. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Sneaker King still MIA, man. That motherfucker is MIA. <clears throat> He was like, "Yo, Dells, I'll see you on the battle." Mia. The only look, Le- the only LeBron soldiers that was that I thought about Devin Jones look cold is the one when he won the championship. So it's probably the best one. Three was nice. I think it was the Soldier Three. I didn't mind those. Let me go. It had the two. I think it had the two straps or something because they sold them as a like a like a pack with him and Kyrie. Let me see. Oh, that wasn't the it wasn't the three, maybe the four. Um, no, that's definitely not that one either. Soldier two, I liked. This is it. Hold on, I'll show you. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. This one I didn't mind. I'll show you right now. This one wasn't that bad. It's a fucking I, ain't, I, I ain't gonna lie, Dells. That that sneaker's like pure gasoline. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Not bad. Man, pull up the soldiers, the one that he won the chip with. Which one was that? I don't remember the numbers. I just know it had two straps on it. Pause. LeBron. Come on, Sean. You should know what shoe it is. I'm searching championship soldier. Let's see. Fuck. I can't find it. Was it this shit this, right here? I would say just pull up the uh, championship picture. Oh. Yeah, fuck LeBron. <laughs> fuck. fuck you wasting our time on that bullshit, man. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck you think he is? Yeah. Fuck that motherfucking LeBron. Who the hell LeBron James? What's the resale on this SB? What SB? The um It's the big one of the born and raised. I don't know. I could check real quick, I guess. Let me see. Hey, Romney said is the resale on that five. I mean on that five. The fusion that he um uh, yeah, the fusion five. He said it's going for some bread. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe people bought it, and now they have the nostalgia factor. Nike. What's that Nike called again? That that SB? Nike SB what is it called? What's that SB called? I'm trying to find the... Oh, Born and Raised. Born and Raised. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, shit. Damn. Size nine is six oh five. Size ten is seven forty eight. Size eleven seven hundred. Size twelve eight fifty eight. Why? What the fuck? Why so much money? They out of pocket. Ooh. That shit'll drop once they release, though. All right, so that's the shoe that everyone needs to go for, I guess. Right? Hey, that does like uh, you know the. The uh, bread, uh, Yeezys, them joints ain't going for a whole lot neither. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm, I'm, when they first dropped, them joints was a serious problem to get their hands on. <clears throat> Doves and had the damn Doves and left them bitches outside and got frostbite on them joints. <laughs> oh, man. Them shits was solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Sing it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I can't believe how much money they're going for. 
But wasn't the Haritos going for stupid money and then that dropped? Yeah, it dropped to like three fifty, and then um, I caught mine at four, and now they down there going back up to six. Oh really? Oh, it's worth that much? That damn shoe? The Harito joint. I didn't know that. And I'm wearing them all reckless. I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably crack them joints. On DS them joints on my way to hey, 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 hey. Good job, Larry. <laughs> and I gotta get my tickets to get rich or die trying in August. Man, those tickets are buck sixty. Damn. 50, 50 gonna be in your arm or your neck of the woods, and he added busting rounds to the show. What? He's performing? Yeah, well, uh, it's the 20th anniversary of the Get Richard Die Trying. I didn't know he's doing a concert. No, nah, he's doing a, he doing, look, his tour don't end until December. Like, he even going over the, back to Europe. That's crazy. He's doing the whole album. Hit them up, those. Remind me tomorrow. I may be able to get some tickets for that. I'm a soldier. G unit. That's what Sean need to do. Do a video with them soldiers on and put that in the background. I'm a soldier. Sean got no no LeBron. For someone who was a big LeBron fan, he got no LeBrons. Shit is crazy. <laughs> No, nah, he probably just got certain ones, the, the dope ones. No, nah, he got, like, no LeBrons. Like, I think only has the Fruity Pebbles. What? He ain't, got, he ain't got the South Beach? Nothing, bro. He ain't got none of them shits, bro. Damn. Yeah, ain't, ain't that some shit, huh? Man, both those shoes hard. I can't even pick, man. That's yeah. why I got both. That's why I was, like, thinking of something to go live and talk about today. I said, this. yo, can we get the likes up real quick, please? I stream for two hours. Please, can we get the likes up? It takes one second to do. I don't mean to be so frustrated, but I mean, shit. It's two fucking hours. I had them with the, like, back in the day, when one pe one person only had the, uh, the Super Nintendo and another house had the Genesis. Like, nah, I got both of them Genesis. Yeah. That's when you know you're doing it big, where your parents were, shit. He had both pieces, both systems by the way i asked you guys two hours ago nike sb jordan 4 versus the harito dunks um 81 said the jordan 19 said the dunk wow mm. wow man y'all made one who fell out the chair right now crazy that's my new shit i'm fucking my shoes up on camera all the time it's my new shit now Shit, Ronnie probably happy. He like, man, y'all don't get y'all ass out of my wave anyway. Take y'all ass back over the shoulders. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, shit, man, G Fish, we about to get up out of here, G. You all got right, anything right, right before you go? Nah, nah, nah. Not really. Good, um, uh, good talk. And, uh, everybody hit that like button and, and tap the, um, yeah, tap, tap the little heart on the side in the chat. Watch yeah. that. And, and up, if you down, left, right, left, right. Yeah, up, yeah. Contrast. <laughs> and if you didn't watch the show from the beginning, you you need to. It's a damn good show tonight. A damn good show. So definitely check that one out. Check this shit out. Um, and I'm about to get up out of here, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're watching on the playback, leave comments, please. Hit the thanks. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. We need people to battle on Friday. Hopefully, we can get that early. Who wants to battle? For I want Rami to battle again. When is Rami battling again? I think I seen sneakers and snapbacks in here earlier. I'd like to see him back in the arena. Shout the sneakers and snapbacks. I think I was about to shout him. Oh, there he is. Shout the sneakers and snapbacks. 
Um, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everyone that dropped donos, too. Appreciate it. Don't forget, we got the thanks. You can always send to the cash app, write your name, and I can always shout you out on the next show. We out.